Hey there, it's Carlos. Today we are working on the tub spout. This is a very leak tub spout that's causing low pressure on the shower head. If that's the same problem you have, stick around and I'll show you the complete steps on how to replace this tub spout, whether you solve your leak issue or just to get a different look on the shower you have. Real quickly, the way a tub spout works is you have water coming in from the wall trying to make its way through the tub spout and the tub spout's job is to stop the water with this gate or also known as diverter so if they st you stop the water here you put pressure back causing the water to go to your shower head so if at any point between the wall and the diverter there's a leak all the pressure that should go to the shower head is being lost on your diverter. There are two types of tub spout in the market. A slip on and a threaded on. The slip on has a set screw right underneath. So look at your spout. If you see a set screw somewhere over here, you have a slip on type. A threaded on has actually threads inside the spout. Or you can save yourself a trip and get a universal tub spout. This one accommodates the slip on and also has threads inside where you can thread it in. And this is the one we will be using today, the universal type. So you start by breaking this loose. If you cannot do it by hand, I recommend using a large channel lock. In this case, I broke it loose with a channel lock. And after I did so, you can see where the leak was coming from right underneath. Afterwards, I used a wire brush to clean the threads so we can be ready to install the new spout. Whenever you're working with threads, I'd super recommend using Blue Monster threaded tape. And on top of it, I use Gazoila threaded sealant. The com combination of both, it's a perfect match for any thread scenarios. You then install the adapter so you can install the tub spout and you repeat the tape and sealing process one more time. And then the extension tubing. And one last time, tape and sealant. Now we're ready to install the tub spout. Just screw it in clockwise. And once you get towards the end, make sure it's nice and square. Finally, I like to apply a bead of silicone around the spout to make sure no water goes in. And then we're on to the final test, the water test. That's it, that's how you replace your tub spout. For reference, where I got the parts for this project, check the description below. If you want to learn how to replace your drain for a complete new shower look, 
check out the next video. As always, I try to make this very informative. I hope you learned something. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.